everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Monster Train. Uh, we had two out of our last three runs were very good. One of them was a little iffy in the middle, but uh, two great runs with a little trash one in the middle? Okay. Um, so I think, like, we still need good Stygian Guard. Uh, like, I don't think we have a win with Stygian Guard. Look at it, 3% gold. 55, 45, 3! 32, 24. This is after one run. Um, so I really think we need a good Stygian Guard run. We're gonna try at least. And I, I genuinely believe... I'm trying to think who Stygian Guard pairs best with. Um, they do either Spell Weakness or Frostbite, so stalling enemies can be great. Um, or big spells, or even just AoE spells, if we can get like Sweep Spell Weakness. So I think an, an AoE high damage spell really comes in the Stygian Guard deck in the form of Titan's Tooth. The uh, 5 damage to all enemies plus 10 Frostbite. But you could also, I was thinking maybe like Awakened, or Awoken I should say. We can put like a big tank in front and then Glimmer with Spell Weakness will do some pretty sick stuff. I'm kinda torn, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try anyway. I feel really comfortable playing with the Awoken as a as an allied clan, honestly. And we got Glimmer right off the bat. Plus seven magic power on this floor is really nice with Glimmer. You know, you're talking about by default healing nine and dealing nine damage to all enemy units for one, which is amazing. And our Seraph is uh sorry, I gotta move myself down. Our Seraph. The Great Trader will devour your spells. So I believe that's the first spell played every turn is consumed. Which is bad. But maybe we can get some recycle. We can get we can get consumed back. And I'm here to tell you. If you'll just give me a moment. Oh yeah. That's that's the ticket. Oh yeah. Give me some oh, ooh. How about that? Then maybe oh no no, that's way too much. Okay, I think that's where we want to be. Oh, but I'm still- t I'm too far. You know what? We can also do this. How do you feel about this, you son of a gun? Then I think we want to go- ooh. Like more around there, and then- ooh! Now we're talking! Okay, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. Alright. I really like sweep spell weakness, but I'll admit it's it's tough, right? Because like we're thinking too far ahead maybe is one way to think about it. But we gotta prepare for the final boss. Um, sweep spell weakness is amazing. Like, if we can spell weakness on floor one, and then super glimmer mollusk mage on floor two, we're talking about dealing 18 damage to all enemies for one mana, which is insanely good. The downside is that this dies super hard to thorns or to enemy units that have sweep. But this dies really hard to thorns or enemy units that have sweep as well, I suppose. So you know what? I think we will go, and, and Frostbite, like, here's the thing, I like Frostbite, it's really hard to stack, uh, you know, 500 Frostbite on the final boss to kill them, so, I think we're better off with the sweep spell weakness, that's the way I choose to think about it. Cards with consume have a better chance to be discarded. I don't think this will counteract the boss, um, so this is where you look at your deck and you go, do we have many consumes? We have no consumes yet, but admittedly... Admittedly, I think this is really good. I think this is really good, too, if you only have direct damage spells on the front. And we do have four of those, to be fair. Um, however... Oh, hello, Tomo. However... We do have some AoE as well. Is it, what, what would you do, buddy? What would you do in this one? I know we're, we're taking five minutes before we even get started here. It feels very out of character for me, but... It's, it's the thinking man's game, you know? Um... I think let's go wing clippings and we'll try to, um, and hey, here's the thing. If it counters the final boss, then that's gravy. All we have to do is make it there and then hopefully we got a better chance. Uh, either way though, we're going to try to build in such a way that we get like some awesome spells that have consumed and we don't sweat it too much. Okay, you guys are not doing enough damage to frighten me, so we will kill you. Um, which is great. And then for you, you guys are strong, but you're not going to... These guys are not going to be as strong when they come up, so we're going to hit you with one of those. And then we can play both of these, but we'd really just be playing the Train Steward to die. So, uh, would not recommend necessarily, although, you know, with no reason not to play the Train Steward, because it's like, we only have Train Stewards in our deck, right? 
Um, just, just train stewards and our champion. Um, so we just want to make sure that our sweep unit lives so we can kill the support units. And that's, that's going great here. Um, we're actually not gonna die here, which is amazing. Why would you apply spell weakness there? It just like literally... I'll just be honest with you, I thought it was a different card. <laughs> um, and we'll just restore you. I'll, just to be 1000% honest, the, tr the first floor is really more like, if you turn the trial on, you're basically saying, I'm okay taking some pyre damage to make the future a little bit stronger for us. Um, so, Mollusk Mage... Well, I think this this guy doesn't do damage to the bot to the pyre, so this is a gimme on turn one. Um, we could restore you, but I think we'd rather get some restore going on our our champion. Um, and then the question becomes, what's worth more to us, mollusk mage attacking more, or um, the the spell weakness? And I think the answer is mollusk mage attacking more early on. And do we we do still have two space as well, so we'll put a train steward down instead of trying to slow down this guy. Um, Mollusk Mage doing 7 damage is actually pretty solid for us, for now. So you're only taking 31, which is really bad. Um, however, little spell weakness on you. Little glimmer on you. Now you're taking 48. And I'll level with you. We're just gonna hit you straight up for 26. It's really all about slowing down this boss and minimizing the pyre damage. So they did add a new setting for uh, super ultra speed, if you want that to be on at all times. I don't really care for it to be on at all times, to be honest with you. I would rather just right-click uh, when necessary to make it happen. So I think we might have gotten a little lucky here, and we, we got our spells to pop off, which is very nice. So now, to be honest with you, we're really looking for some high-power consume cards. Um, I think I think Offering Token is bad. I'm, if we have Offering stuff, then I disagree with my own assessment, but we don't yet. We'd have to take Titan's Tooth first. With Spell Weakness, Titan's Tooth doesn't get better, but this does so well with Double Stack. I think in terms of, of Spell Weakness, though, where we're going, we'd rather have Helical Crystals um, to, get the, to get the killer math there. And then, um, enhancing our Sweep Unit is really nice. But so is having uh, a Vine Grasp to hit support units if they make it past the first floor, but they really shouldn't. Um, it's kind of a, it's a low value card, I think, but I think we can make good use out of the, the Steel Enhancer, even though it seems maybe a little underwhelming, shall we say. And uh, now the question becomes, do we want a tank or do we want, you know, a, a strong unit? And I think we still want to tank, because our win condition right now is our support unit... Well, let me rephrase. Our, our win condition right now, as I see it, and I could be very wrong, is uh, our champion doesn't exist to do damage. It's nice that he kills weak units, but he exists to put on spell weakness. So if we can keep him alive and then hit them with like a killer spell at the end, that's a dream come true. Um, so the, the, stronger we, the longer we can keep that unit alive, the better. Now... We do want to make our spells better, for sure. Uh, I... You, you're asking me to roll the dice on this one. We could give a spell more power and consume. And there's a 50% chance it won't be consumed. I think we do it, and then we can always get the one that lowers its chance to cons or removes consume completely later. Um, for now, I'm looking for double stack, and... I really, I think double stack, it might seem underwhelming on these, but because uh, it doesn't consume, I'm actually happy to see it come out here. And it really does double another spell, or it adds another stack of uh, a spell's damage to a unit, which is pretty solid. Um, and then plus, uh, minus one cost. I don't want to use it on helical crystals, I want to keep that space alive. Uh, I think I'd honestly rather make Steel Enhancer a little easier to play, although it might seem a little, a little funky. And, uh, regen is important, but I think our actual restores pale in comparison to our glimmer. And we need, uh, the frozen lance, because it's kind of, it works fairly well with spell weakness. So this time, unfortunately, we're not going to turn on, uh, the trial, because spell weakness, or sorry, uh, our sweep unit would just get de-estroyed. So you're giving units stealth. No, you're giving units haste. 
That's what that is. That's haste. Okay. Um, will you live? Is there any way I can get you to live? Three and one. I'm just working this out. Because we could set up on the third floor. I think you'll live with one HP. You're actually living with four HP. And then you'll all die, which is beautiful. We do, do we have another unit at all? I'm, oh, no, no, we should look at this, yeah. We just have train stewards? Okay, I, I still, in that case, I think you set up your train stewards on the third floor in the hopes that you, uh, you could do some AoE damage on floor two and maybe protect your strain, train stewards from being hit in the first place. Um, Glimmer is just unbelievably good here. This is, this is so nice for us. And then we'll Frozen Lance you. And then I still think you stack these train stewards on that floor. I, I don't think they really benefit us here. Now, we, I don't think we're going to be keeping you alive for too long. <laughs> What are we drawing next turn? Oh, we're drawing like decent damage next turn. So I think we, we still like Steel Enhancer, although I, I'll admit I don't know how much damage the boss does. But I think you having Sweep is important. And I think we definitely want a Mollusk Mage at the back. And then we can at least put, you know, two Train Stewards on the middle floor. I think we actually got a pretty good setup here, honestly. Um, at, you're taking eight damage, which is obviously garbage, but at least... Now you're taking 46. Now we're talking. And I'm like, you do six damage with sweep. Restore will actually keep you alive to hit for 19 one more time. And that really changed the, the way that this looked. So that was that was decent arithmetic there. I'm, I'm happy with myself. We will apply spell weakness. Um, forgive me, this could be a bit of a, a whiff. I think we don't play anything with spell weakness. Um, it doesn't move the needle for us very much because these are fairly low damage. And if we just get Helical Crystals next turn, which is a pretty solid chance, you would be dead. Now, we didn't get Helical Crystals, so now we have to... We're not going to die, but we have to, you know, change the way we're going to approach this slightly. Um, for sure, we like that. And we like this. And then, you're not going to live through two attacks regardless, but... Alright, you're, you're going to live long enough to hit our Pyre for six. It was still a pretty good fight, and really, like on that one, I think we played it right. We just didn't draw the gas we needed at the end to prevent the damage, but that's okay. Um, again, if you could discard these, you love it, but without the ability to discard, I'm not sure we love it. But to take one Crypt Builder, this is a pretty good finisher with Spell Weakness attached, and we could always make it cheaper, is the idea. Um, and I do think we need a big heal. We have crappy heals, so so restoration. All we need is to play our unit, uh, like our awoken unit, and then play restoration on top of that. And and I'm really happy with the situation, honestly. Um, I do want to upgrade spells. I think it's important, but I think maybe we can wait. Can we afford to wait two? I think we can. All right, when a consume card is played, deal damage as well. We got a, It's not a high synergy, in my opinion, but I think it's okay. And then uh, a Stygian Banner unit. This is really my problem, is that I think the Stygian Banner units are, like, pretty not good. Uh, we're going to do better with Rage 1, I think. Though I don't find that particularly good either. <laughs> I think it's a, an easier use case. Okay, so you want to take a card and, and give me an upgraded version later. I will, I will purge a spell, and this just makes our Pyre better. So I think we can purge, again, one of our basic restores. And then, it, it sh I shouldn't say it makes our Pyre better, but when it comes back, it allows us to heal Pyre health by not playing the card. So honestly, like, applying it to a crappy spell is kind of a... It's not a bad play, in my opinion, at least in my assessment so far. Alright. Constructed explosives explode twice. It's really bad, because um, they're going to do 20 damage to the front. So what you're definitely looking for here, and this is kind of like your dream start. You want the Awoken Hollow. You want the Sweeping Unit. Then you're going to... I really don't think it's worth... I think you play the Energy Siphon after you play the Glimmer. Because we don't want Glimmer to double up. It's just not good enough. So that's that's good. You get the 
trigger as well. Then we'll put this on you to hopefully start stacking up something incredible in the future. I really can't complain about that. It was a very good first turn. Um, we were looking for restoration detonation and we did not get it. You're going to take 10 damage, which is bad, but it's not that bad. I think we can work with it in the favor of hopefully getting this to work for us. And this is all in service of, like, of what we want our end goal to be. And our end goal is really just as much spell weakness on the boss as possible, and then hit him with your with your killer spells. Like, those take the highest priority. So, the Crypt Builder, we, won't, we will not be playing here. Um, obviously. I, I don't know. Now that I think about it, I actually think, like, it does pretty well here. Yeah. Better better than just playing two frozen lances and a train steward, at least. Why not? And that third floor is, like, meaningless to us. Hello, Luca. Alright, now this is a great floor for a glimmer. The problem is, we don't want to glimmer this guy with the spell weakness, but it is what it is. So, uh, let me let me work on this one for a second, okay? Let me, let me think about it! Um... It's still going to be tough for this unit to live. I actually feel like they need this combined with Restoration Detonation to live. Um, I don't think the order really matters at all. This is going to lead to a big stack of units at the top because we didn't get an AoE spell. But all we need is an AoE, AoE spell at the top to really get things going here. Preserved? Oh, it didn't consume. Let's go. That's kind of what we needed, thankfully. Now you are gonna live. Oh, and it killed you. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, you're still gonna take 20 damage, but then you're not gonna exist, which is pretty cool. And we got to hit you pretty hard and apply even more spell weakness. All right, but keeping this unit alive is is not easy. Um, oh, never mind. It's actually very easy. Uh, I'm I'm choosing to allow you to get to the top and die because I think it's more uh, and hit our pyre because I think it's more important to get something like this out there and then um, I can't kill you to begin with but I can at least get you going and I'm like do I even send you out here really the only reason I'd be sending you the train steward out here is to take two damage it makes oh and I can't even afford it for one so don't even worry about it. <laughs> Alright, we took three damage. No big deal. I was gonna say, we gotta be getting close to final wave here. Um, so Glimmer is like... It's tough. I, I feel like it's not really what you want to play here, but there's no other way around it for us. The only thing is, do we really want Glimmer to hit spell weakness? And the answer is like, definitely no. Um, when we have other, like, damage spells coming up. So it, this is admittedly a tough decision, because Glimmer is good. Um, but I really, I think the way you play this is you start here. Okay, and now he's taken 31, which is not good. Um, not playing Glimmer will help us out, but purging all of his spell weakness sucks really bad. You get to 22. It will allow you to survive two hits. We'll get two stacks of spell weakness on you. Five, hold on. Five times 45 times two. <laughs> it's 450. Like, I, I really think, assuming that's the way it works, this is going to look somewhat bizarre. I really think we just let this one take its course, and we say, you know what, we got seven stacks of spell weakness. We got more stacks of spell weakness. We're gonna hit, well, we might as well encant. And then we'll hit you with this helical crystals, and you're dead. Look at that. Alright, so it seemed maybe a little wrong, but it, it worked. Okay, we, we have no need for Frostbite yet. That's fair. Enhance a unit with plus 10 health. Apply Spikes 4. It's too expensive to be useful for us right now, in my opinion. Regen 2, Spikes 2, and then it it puts itself more into our discard pile. I don't, I don't really like any of these, honestly. I think this is, this is Cash City. Um, I really think a second Awoken Hollow actually does pretty well for us. And this is one of the rare times. Like, capacity has not been a problem right now. I know I, I, I feel like I very commonly said this is one of the rare times. But uh, really, in this situation, I don't think we benefit that much from uh, 
from taking the capacity, but I want the capacity at some point. So our units have not been upgraded at all, but after this we will get a spell. No, we won't get a spell boon. No, we will get a spell boon. Okay, so I think not spending money here is really advantageous. So we don't have a ton of units. This is really, we're, we're kind of slow playing it right now with the hope of getting incredibly strong in the future. Um, we really don't need three Awoken Hollows. Uh, on the, I mean, we kind of do need another unit though. I guess we can live with the Thorn Hollow. It works pretty well on the first floor again because all the support units like blow themselves up trying to kill it. Uh, I would definitely say you either go for the super spell weakness or you go for the super helical crystals. And the helical crystals is a little bit more like our finisher, so we're gonna start there. And then spell weakness two is very nice. And I still think, here's the thing. Really, when we get to that next spell setup where we can upgrade our spells, I think that's where our rate of change goes through the roof. So let's just preserve ourselves, keep ourselves alive, not worry about trying to get the, uh, the spikes here and see if we can make it through this. So you you do not have stealth, you have haste. Glimmer will roast you. So we'll play you. You don't have any encanted abilities. It's, it's fantastic for us. And we really might as well just put out another one there, get, get a lot of spikes going and hit you. And again, like that's pretty much an ideal first floor. And with you having spell weakness, you're fairly easily killable to be quite frank. Um, but we'll probably wait a turn to do it. So, uh, you're taking 12, which is pretty stinky. I would really like for you to go. You're going to go. You're not going to give him haste. Okay. So, I think we 100%. Well, no, not 100%. I think we just toss you up here as kind of like a, a gimme for now. And we'll give you some protection. Although, actually, I wouldn't mind just doing a little bit more damage to you on this floor for now. Although, you you guys would benefit from AoE uh, Glimmer, because you'll both get a trigger on Rejuvenate and Encant, but what's done is done, right? Um, I actually think maybe what we want to do in this case is just go hard on the spell weakness, and uh, you won't die, but at least you took some damage. I'm not really worried about that guy making it to the pyre, because, again, he, he doesn't do any damage, but now you're in the tricky spot, so for sure. Well, I mean, this is it, this is our dream situation again. We want Mollusk Mage at the back, and then Restoration Detonation just is like disgustingly good, and we're gonna be able to play almost everything. You're the danger right now, so I do think we just play this, and. Uh, This doesn't count as a rejuvenation trigger, so I think you just continue to make your sweep unit a little stronger. Mostly not so it does more damage, but merely so it's tankier. And that'll that'll pay dividends for us, for sure. There's lots to like here. Let's just, let's just say that. The question is, do we want to do 67 damage to you? Or would we rather do... More damage for less. Yeah, that, that sounds better. Sounds quite a lot better, quite frankly. Um, and then, like, what do you want here? Do you want a train steward coming down? Or do you want to maybe just, like, hit you pretty hard? I think that's... Well, we can do both. Okay, we'll, we'll put the train steward behind the Awoken. And, uh... Really, that just exists to exist. But I'm not sweating it too much. I think we definitely want to stop you as quickly as possible. You need regen. And then you might as well... I think you go in front just because the unit behind is so much more valuable. Okay, how are we doing on floor one here? You... We'd really like you to go. And you're going to go fast, which is good. Okay, now we can't actually play our play our Awoken Hollow. I will add, though, that one capacity wouldn't change this. We really need two capacity. Um, okay, so let's think about this. You do 11 damage. So obviously we're going to hit you with the Restoration Detonation. This keeps us alive a lot longer. Now, you're going to do 44 damage in four turns. We can't get there with Steel Enhancer. So we really, I think we're much better off putting Steel Enhancer on 
you because it'll let you live for one extra turn and there that's reflected in the 30 extra damage we're putting out here and then we're really just going like that um and then sadly the awoken hollow has no position for us here but really again this this floor does not exist to kill the boss it exists to put as many stacks of spell weakness on the boss as possible and then um we apply it again and we purge 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 and then we decide and we definitely will not be playing frozen lands because next turn we're going to have a uh, crypt builder which will do i don't know 700 yeah 720 damage <laughs> that went just fine i think we like urchin spines well enough you know spell weakness aoe is something we only get from our uh from our uh, da, 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 our champion right now. So I think in the fact that it has consume is 50% handled, which is nice. Uh, and Awoken's Rail Spike, it, I 1,000% think we need more HP. But this is very tempting, again, because of the consumption element. Um, I think th the ability for this to hit our high cost spells is worth a lot. So now you're going to try to give me my restore back. Um... Every time we play this, we get 25 gold. They changed this event, dude. That's crazy. Um, you know what? I'll take it now. I, uh, giving me that gold ASAP, I think, is is more precious. That's really... That's way better than healing your pyre for three. <laughs> All right. So we, we desperately want to uh, upgrade our spells now. Um, holdover is, is unbelievable. And we'd really like that. There you go. You would like it on Crypt Builder. Or actually, you know, ooh, it does pretty well on Energy Siphon, too. But Crypt Builder, if we can also make it cost two, it's really good, dude. That's. This is a tough decision, and it's the kind of decision that might really change your the, the tone of your whole run. Um, it's definitely one of these two. I think having access to Crypt Builder is a little bit more important, and we will make it cheaper. Uh, plus 20 magic power and consume. I think we like it well enough on just a basic restore. Then if it gets consumed, we're not upset. If it doesn't get consumed, we're still pretty happy as well. Um, then you would look at maybe Permafrost. Is like when you draw it, you wait until you have a reason to play it. So you'd, you'd really put this on like a finisher, like a helical crystals. I don't think it's amazing, but I think it could be worth the 95 gold. And then, uh... I think making helical crystals a little cheaper will, will pay some dividends for us. It's not incredible. It's not an incredible turn of events here. But I think it's... It's fine, and we're, we're building something interesting. Oh, dude, I absolutely love uh, Steel Pulley Claw. Although, descending a unit to the bottom floor, having it get dazed twice and get more spell pa uh, spell weakness on it is kind of interesting, too. And it is free. Pulley Claw usually, though, kills a unit for two, which is pretty good value. Um... And it, it may not consume, which is nice as well. So, you know, I think I think we still like the pulley claw to let our pyre do damage instead of maybe stacking a bottom floor that could end up being... Because, like, if we... I guess you would just... The answer is don't do this. But if you had a unit with spikes and you pulled it down, your sweep units would be upset. I really... For now, I think we don't do the trials. We're getting, you know, 25 gold every time we play that restore card, regardless. Um, so you're going to do 21 damage. That's horrible. Um, and there's no way to, to keep us alive here. Uh, although, I will say... Seven? Uh, I think we gotta stack a second floor. I don't like this. I, I want to be very clear. I think this is pretty dangerous for us. But we're just hoping to get some AoE on this. Like a glimmer would crush. And I, I you know, what can you say? You got it. Um so we definitely want to play this glimmer. 
and you're healing for a bunch, which is is a beautiful thing. And then let's just see. Let's see how this goes. It did consume. I choose to accept it. And we'll glimmer you just to make sure you well, losing the spell weakness is kind of crappy on that. That's that's fair. Um we don't have much else to do here, because you're just a shield, you don't really bother me that much. I think, well, but what do we care about getting Rage 1? Yeah, Rage 1 is irrelevant, we'd rather just hit you. This is a hypothetical consume. <laughs> this is the, oh, okay. This consumes, but may not. We're not gonna play our train steward, so start here. It preserved, which is unbelievable. Um, we might as well just... Well, 13-13. I feel like we might as well try. It did It did preserve. It did preserve. Yo, what a world, dude. Um, so I think we've gotten pretty lucky on this one. And I think you would probably agree. Now, the question really is what do we want to play here? And I think this is always nice. Um, but then I, I think Restoration Detonation is worth it as well. And then the question is, do you play a Train Steward? No. You draw three cards that then become super cheap. Um, and this is now going to be a zero cost Crypt Builder forever. Which is, like, you don't need me to tell you, I'm sure. But it, well, not forever, but for the rest of this battle. is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So every turn we're going to get that 60 cost Crypt Builder now, and it's going to be free, which is amazing. Uh, we might as well just use it. And then we really don't have a good reason to use anything else, quite frankly. Um, just pass our turn on here. So we really save this until we get Spell Weakness. Um, here's the deal, brother. Well, the Awoken Hollow, it, it probably does nothing by existing right now. We have to play Crypt Builder, so we get it back next turn. Do you do anything by existing? I think you mill maybe a turn of stealth. You're not going to get to be played anywhere else, so... Oh, and we moved you to the back, which means now our... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have played it in a different order. We could have killed both support units. That That's just... Uh, Bad play, basically. Um, but Glimmer is what you want early here, for sure. Then, we definitely like Spell Weakness. It's only Spell Weakness 1, which is the real problem of building on the second floor here. Um, I think you super do Helical Crystals. It's going to hit you for like 200 and something. Less than 200 and something. Okay, And it Preserved, which is awesome as well. Um, then we'll hit you again. We'll hit you again. You may hit our pyre, but you're not going to do a lot of damage. So we definitely like the double stack spell. I, th I think you're actually dead, yeah. Okay, good good plays. I should have looked at that restore. That could have been a 25 gold restore, but... Alright, we got through it. I don't think we need urchin spines, honestly. Um, Ice storm, I, I, I do get. I mean, with mollusk mage, this is now... 8 damage 5 times for 1, which is just decimate support units. But I, I really don't think it's... I don't know if it adds to the quality of our deck right now. I do think we do need more HP. Even though it's quite expensive, the idea is that maybe with enhanced rail spikes it's not so bad. Uh, and I would honestly look at... I mean, the relics I don't think are that relevant right here. But we'll take a relic for free, of course. <laughs> when you play your third card of the turn, draw two or remove buffs on an enemy unit when it enters the train 50% chance. I think having guaranteed draw is a little bit more precious. And then I... 100%. I'm like, come on, dude. You gotta, you gotta double up on this Crypt Builder. Um, and that's really all we get. You know, it's, it's not a huge pull for us, but... Okay. Spell... The, the Guardians have Spell Shield 5, which is not great. But it empowers units with armor. Okay. So again, I think we almost have to build on the second floor. And we're gonna start with the Thorned Hollow as, like, our base. 
Um, which, okay, gave us draw, but we really don't want to play the Rail Spike. That's kind of a terrible draw for us. And then if we want to put Spell Weakness too, I think we definitely just like it on the boss. We'll, we'll get dividends there eventually. The armor on the support units is really bad, because it means that a, like a Glimmer doesn't even kill them all. Um, so we need the sweep to be stronger. And it, that was a huge swing, dude. It's, a, it's just a huge swing. Um, you're not doing any damage. So I'm like, I honestly don't mind putting the Siren up there. But I think it is fairly wasteful. <laughs> um, I really feel like you might as well heal you. I know you got the spell power, but like, why not? And then, um, let's see if we can get more spell weakness on the boss. I think... It did preserve, which is nice, and the boss does get more spell weakness. I think we definitely benefit from getting more spikes. That's going to help if you ever get an attack, which you won't, now that I think about it. And, uh... I mean, we might as well work on your your rage trigger for now. Everybody's got spell shield, but... It's something. Alright, that's not great. Um... So, we do want, like, the Awoken Hollow, the dream is to get him out there at some point. Uh, just keep stacking this up on you. I know where we're trying to go on this run. Don't get it twisted up. Helical Crystals really doesn't do anything right now, so I think it's better not to play it. As a result of the fact that it literally we're playing it just to get blown up. So I think we're way better off getting you out there and doing, like, a fat regen. And then, um... I mean, I'll be straight up with you. I think this is not great, but at least we're getting some value. Why put the train steward in front of the unit that's a little tankier, by the way? Because the tankier unit is a thousand times more valuable than a 5'8 train steward, is the way I choose to look at it. If the train steward takes one hit to do its job, then, then it's doing its job properly, in my opinion. So this is 100% what we want all of the time. Mollusk Mage. Getting out there. Are we about to draw a rail spike? We're not. Um, followed by a Glimmer, which we're predominantly just doing to, I mean, get the trigger is the big thing. Um, Frozen Consume Permafrost on this. But you have Spell Shields. Oh, you do still have Spell Shield. Okay. Everybody still has Spell Shield, so there's really no reason to play this, except... By playing this, we can get an Encant Trigger, which is not worth very much. We get Draw that we can't use. Um, but we also get the Holdover so we get it next turn, so we can actually start to use it effectively. It's not that bad. It, it looks bad, but it's, it's really not that bad, believe it or not. So the number one thing I would say we got to look for is keeping units alive. And everybody's living, which is great because we don't have any regen anyway. <laughs> Um, I really think we go hard on your spell weakness. But you're gonna get tanky? Okay, so we'll start with the, with the Crypt Builder then. To dust you. And then we'll put the spell weakness on you. We really should... Helical you. I feel like we might as well just hit you again, yeah? Alright. So, the, the, the Awoken Hollow at the bottom, really, the reason I played this card, this unit, I should say, is to take care of the, the Guardian. Like, at some point, the statue's gotta die, um, which is what we're doing there. If, if he dies, it's okay. I know you want me to say, if he dies, he dies. If he dies, it's okay, though. Nobody's dying up here. Alright, we're gonna play this card for zero, so you live for a turn and actually kill the Guardian. Um... We are going to Helical Crystals, the, the Christ out of you. Um, you are going to make it, which I hate. You're going to kill a unit as well. Because of the holdover effect, I think you just get those out here. And then we'll keep that spell weakness going. Basically, we're almost at the point where if we cast a spell on the boss, the boss will die. We're really just, it's like a tower defense game. We're holding it down. And then, when the boss comes out, we're playing a high damage spell that, that should send him to the, to the Shadow Realm. Um, so we only have four cards in our draw pile. I think you play this for four and draw them. 
And now all of a sudden you have a free Crypt Builder every turn. Um, so you start here. Oh, but do you get an Encant on Spell? No, you don't. Okay. And it preserved, which is amazing. Um, Glimmer is pretty bad early. But actually, I think we do like a Restoration Detonation to dust you. And then you've got 14... Hold on. Okay, so we start with the Glimmer up here. Which is going to give you an Encant buff, but I don't care. Um, oh, it's tempting to just... Give you one of those for a thousand damage. But I think we're, we're gonna get this for zero every turn, so why not try to make sure the Pyre takes zero damage? I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. You're not quite dead. You hate to see it. Um, you, on the other hand, we're gonna send you up, okay? Enjoy being up. You're going to have 72. Can't play it. <laughs> it's, this is still the right play for the record. Um, we almost killed the boss just with spells, which you love to see. Um, and now you're dead. Okay, so I, I mean, I don't disbelieve that this spell or this deck can work. We need to stop our spells from consuming or duplicate them enough that they... Um, well, but here's what I'm saying. The final boss counters our spells. So as long as you do, you play your crappy spells first, you might be okay. Um, hello, Tomo. Hello, Ruka. I think, honestly, I don't really understand the channel song benefit here. We don't, we don't rely on units. Um, it does basically draw a unit and make it decent by its... Yeah, okay. I don't see a good reason not to take it in hindsight. And I, I still don't think capacity is what we're looking for. I think this is a full energy, like, rail spike, draw a bunch of stuff for zero, hope that you get or force yourself to get the uh, the super benefits out of it. Um, like the, the, what is it called? The Crypt Builders? So I'm just seeing. In principle, upgrading spells is really good. But do we need to upgrade our spells? When our units have way more open space, you know? I, I think maybe we'll go this way first. Um, and if we don't like what we see, we could always remove. I really bizarrely think the Mollusk Mage getting more... Uh, getting more damage is pretty good. <laughs> and then Spikes 4 by default on the Thorned Hollow? Sure, why not? And then we'll reroll and see what we get. Endless. Um, none of our units really die. I don't think we even want Endless on a Train Steward. I think it makes life worse. Uh, an Encant trigger. I really think you put this on a tank instead of on the uh, the to try to get the double Encant. I think it just works better on a tank. And I, I think you just make your tanks even stronger. Um, and then let's let's remove some cards. Really, like, our train stewards, again, are not worth much. So I think we can cut one of those. Oh, we don't have enough money to cut anything else. I was gonna cut some frozen lances. I don't think they really do that much for me anymore. Um, and we're, we're rolling here. I think we got a chance. At the very least, it's a good run. It's a respectable run. Um, we really don't want any of these. Uh, I, I feel like these are... I mean, I don't know the balance of the game, right? I didn't work on it, but I feel like every time I get that curse set up, I'm like, it's not that good. I've never found it worth it, but, you know, it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy because I've never taken it. Don't restore to full health when you go up a floor. The start of battle, enemy units appear on each floor, and you're an Ember Drain unit. I think we say no, and we just try to get this one. You know, I don't... We're not going for a high score. We're just trying to live, right? So, now, I really would prefer if you didn't Ember Drain me. Um, and if you hit, because you have Sweep, we'll have two less energy next turn. Can we afford that to get our, our life going? I think the answer is yes, believe it or not. Um, I mean, why wouldn't you do 60 damage? But um, I think the answer is yes. Because we have the two energy up already. So we, we'll still have an okay setup for the next turn. Uh, I 
Are you living? You're dying. That's horrible, dude. Um, I mean, I can let you live. I don't mind letting the letting the collector go. Uh, you have to live. We can always just hit you with any spell in the future. You have to live. If you have to live, we might as well make you live in the, the best way possible. You might as well live your best life. And we're not going to be Ember Drain next turn either. Plus, this guy, he only does like two damage, right? If he makes it to the boss, who cares? He'll die in one hit. So is it even worth using a spell? Especially a spell that might consume? I would genuinely say the answer to the question is no. Now you, I want you taken care of. And it preserved. You love to see it. Um, pretty simple turn, really. Uh, I do think we play it. If, it. if it doesn't preserve, it doesn't preserve. And it didn't preserve. You do 8 damage, you do 2 damage. We need an Awoken Hollow out there. So I think... Just, just getting this unit to start to be a little buffer is worth it. These are, these are calculated risks in the early game to make the late game hopefully easier for us. Is the way we, we look at it, at least. So we always love uh, a Mollusk Mage. And then we'll hit Restoration Detonation. Uh, and you're actually going to do quite a lot of damage to the boss. So I think the way we play this is we could pull you up. But I think we'd rather just pull you up. And it preserved, which is disgusting. Um... We don't really like anything we draw with a Rail Spike, so we don't play that yet. And with one energy remaining, what do we play? Getting gold is always worth something. Restoring and getting 25 gold, I think, is maybe your play over the Awoken Hollow on the third floor. Because um, it gets you the Spike Trigger as well. Alright, so that's, you know, we, we did really well with the Claw there. Now, the unit at the back is a disaster for us. The sweep is like a sincere problem. Um, you guys don't encant or anything, huh? No, 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 no. Well, um, you actually really like that this hit a nameless siren. We'll put you at the back. I think we just have to accept our mollusk mage is, is on the outs. And take it as much advantage as you can. Remember, we do 30 damage to the front enemy unit. Okay. When we play a consumer card. Oh, dude. As much as I want to play the uh, the Awake, I think the Awoken's Rail Spike is better. But let's get this out there. We don't love what it hit. Well, you... Dude, we can actually make you live. We don't love what it hit. Um, but it didn't consume. So it'll actually... Uh, it'll it'll come back at some point. Um, and I'm like, what units do we even have left in our deck? The answer might be none. Ah, but we still have Channel Song in the deck. So we'll wait. We won't play Train Steward because Channel Song will make our Train Steward better. If that's the kind of thing that ends up mattering, we may have problems. But it's the right idea no matter what. Alright, so we're obviously low on energy. The question is, what do you want to play? And with... Oh, man, I would... There's no way to stop the spell weakness. Or the, the lack of energy next turn. So, I think we just make sure you're done so we can kill you next turn. We're, we're gonna have three energy, I believe. Yeah. So we definitely like spell weakness. <laughs> I think we just set up for the future turn, really. Um, like, I think we... Uh, these are both offering holdovers. So we make sure you're toasted. That way we don't get Ember Drained. Then we... You do 26 damage. We heal you. And... We're just hoping maybe we get like... You know, if you could have like... 8 spell weakness is probably not where I would have said. But... <laughs> you gotta do it. 10? 10 is a little better. That'll kill you. Okay, look at that. We, we got there. There's a little... 
iffy, but we got there. Well, we do have offering, so like Frenzied Swarm is actually potentially pretty good. Um, we have some offering cards, I should say. Uh, Pyrebound is interesting as well. Sap 3 is, is, is also pretty interesting, to be honest. What is our offering, though? Our offering is just Crypt Builder. That means if you discard it, you play it. I, mean, I think we can try to make it work for sure. I actually feel like having more spells is completely fine for us. We, we have spaces where we can only put one capacity units for now because of our energy focused build. Are we, we're on route to the final boss, right? So this is a very important decision. I think we for sure want more duplication. That's the, the central premise here is more duplication is going to be better. And um, it's not an easy decision. I think you just go with the, the next Crypt Builder. And the reason is mostly... And we can't really do anything with this one. The reason is mostly so it, it has a greater chance to get hit by... Uh, I think we just start to ice... Well, yeah, no. Mm, yeah. Uh, so it has a better chance to get hit by uh, Awoken's Rail Spike. So if we want to make a unit a little stronger, we'll go with you. We want to make a little unit, or a unit a little stronger and a, a little bit more tankier. Why not? And that's that's gonna tap us out of gold here. All right. Um, so our first spell played every turn will be consumed. That's super spicy, and I hope that our ability goes over top of it, but I can't be sure. Really, what we want to do is maybe play this on cards that are already gonna consume or have a chance to consume. We have our dream first turn to begin with. It is 8, uh, so it's 21 damage. I think we have to set up for our second turn. Or we could play the 25 HP unit down here. Sweep is gonna, it's gonna do some damage. Yeah, okay, I think we actually do it like this. I think it's so important to have our um, work with me here it got preserved baby <laughs> I think it's so important to have our first floor set up the way we want it um, so I think as far as spell weakness goes I think I'd much rather like start to get it going on you you're not purging that buff at any point um, and then do we want to play this Yes, in my opinion. The fact that it preserved is amazing, but the momentum that we have already is is what we were looking for. So playing a spell here is dangerous because we will lose the spell weakness um, on the boss, but it's only two. I really think this is where you just go heavy on the Awoken's Rail Spike, and we did get uh, a Crypt Builder on it. Now, did that consume? It did. That's fine. We expect it to consume. So I think your your glimmer is going to be good, but would we rather maybe... Well, we don't have any... The only spell weakness is on the unit at the back. For now. Um, so I think you do start with the Crypt Builder in this case. And then you play a glimmer. And everything's looking pretty solid. I think you just do not play a train steward. Because um, really the purpose of the train steward is to get hit by channel song, which is not worth a ton. <laughs> but it's it's something. Uh, remember, the first spell you play will have a chance to get consumed. So we don't want to play our offering first. That's the big one. We don't really want to play this first either because it does way more damage than this unit will like need so i actually sadly i think you go for awake which benefits from being played once it did consume but it benefits from being played once whereas restoration detonation is a little bit more of like a we'd like to see that show up a lot sort of card um 
I don't really mind if you hit the crypt. I, I don't want to waste the spell on you. I think we like more draw. Uh, I think it's nice to get a heal on you, honestly, because you're pretty close already. Yeah, I think we'd rather just get a heal, even though it doesn't do any damage. Whatever. Um, I, I support this decision-making process. We're playing a macro game right now. We're not playing a micro game. The, the macro is kill the boss. It's not, you know, micromanage every single floor. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so again, we already have a, a restore. We already have a consume on this, so you might as well consume. It preserved, which is incredible. And now you start to think about where we're going here. I think you definitely play this for one. Um, and the extinguish sucks, but whatever. Now, who, what do you play for zero is the question. You're going to do eight. Um, I think we definitely just want you to go that way. Well, we drew, which is nice. Uh, and let's see if we can put this on the bus. It preserved anyway. That's great news. Um, that that ended up being the, the wing clippings. It wasn't great for us for a while, but when it got great, it got really great. And we should have encanted that maybe up here, but... Um, I'm telling you, this Helical Crystals could be a great finisher if we don't accidentally hit the boss with a uh, with a spell weakness remover, like Glimmer. Problem is, Glimmer is a really nice spell to play. Um, we could always play it up here instead. So what do we want to consume here? Or want to have a chance to consume? I think Steel Enhancer is not that great. Uh, so it preserved anyway. You guys have unbelievable spell weakness. Which really, of course, benefits the most from something like this. And then this. Um, it's a good draw. Uh, and I think... We have to think about this, to be honest. I think we like a glimmer just to get your regen triggers going. We don't really care about these. They, they stay in our deck. So I almost look at this as like... Sure, play the Thorned Hollow up at the top just to get it set up. And then daze these guys so they don't do any damage. Ah, we don't redraw on that, but it's still, like, I think we got a lot of value. Okay, so I would like the boss to... Exactly. To not move up one floor was the dream. And that's exactly how that went down. Um, You're kind of the most annoying unit for us. You, you guys have so much spell weakness, though. Like, you moving, I think, is the... Because you're only dazed for three turns. Yeah, we want to move a unit that's going to die and not do damage to the pyre. So you're that unit. Um, and it preserved anyway. Then you just get roasted with all natural flavors. Um... <clears throat> it's not a particularly strong play. But that, you know what, is nice, because then, hold on, we'll put the spell weakness on the boss, and they're in a dangerous place. We can afford the glimmer here and get some great uh, regen going. And then, I mean, encant for rage one doesn't interest me. I think it's finally time to try that. It didn't preserve, that's okay. I think we still have one more in the deck with permafrost anyway. So I'm stoked our, our game plan is, like, coming to fruition for now. Um, remember, your first spell is potentially going to get yeeted. So I think you use it here. Although, hold on. That does give you much better health. It preserved anyway, but now we got over that. Um, you could be restored. Now you're dead. Um... May as well. Just keep stacking this on the boss. I'm trying to think of how I even want to do this now. I think you should go. We should have encanted it again. We definitely like that still being around here. And now we're killing the support unit on hit one, which we would have done anyway with our sweep, but. Alright, dude, I think I, I was just going to say, I think we got a great thing going here. Just don't accidentally play gr uh, Glimmer and screw the whole thing up. So, we really do not mind losing Channel Song. Because it exists just to 
make a train steward come into the world. So, um, if it consumed, it consumed. I, I didn't see whether it preserved, but it really doesn't matter. You guys are all getting spell weakness. It came back. <laughs> Alright, we can't play anything anywhere. Unless, do we... We have played our draw unit. Okay, we can't play anything anywhere, so don't get it twisted up, right? Um, we don't need to kill you on turn one. We just want to put as much spell weakness on you as possible. So, um, when you definitely just start. And you definitely just start. Um, you already have spell weakness. Now you're taking 159. We might as well play this for offering reasons. And then you take a 191, and you're gonna have quite a few stacks of spell weakness on you. 22 stacks of spell weakness. And this is where we look at this and we go, okay. That is doing 1500 damage to you. The question is, do we have enough to do 500 damage to you later? And the answer may be no. So we have to look. I was really looking for helical crystals to come up. Um, so I almost look at this and I say, here's the thing, we don't lose anything by waiting. I know that sounds strange, but we really don't lose anything by waiting. Like if instead of doing this, because it, once it's gone, it's gone. Helical Crystals is just a much better first turn for us. First play. So we could draw it next turn. Or we could draw it this turn after we play three cards, which is a little dangerous in and of itself. But hear me out here. So I think the genuinely, in my heart of hearts, I think the way that you do this is you play a Glimmer on the top floor to not lose the spell weakness. I think for sure you play this for zero, so you get it next turn. I think you play this for zero, so you get it next turn. We apply more spell weakness to you, and we play, well, not for zero, sorry, but we play this for two, so we get it next turn. And then, we hope we draw Helical Crystals. If we don't, life goes on. Kind of. <laughs> we can't pulley. So, here's the thing. You got more now. We have to play it on you. I mean, we could play it on the Pyre, but that's just... You're just asking for trouble at that point. Um... So I think you do go, I think you go like this. I think you go Crypt Builder. Which hurts. It hurts that you're not dead. And then you play Crypt Builder. And then you play Crypt Builder and you hope to draw Helical. But it's too expensive. You're doing 30 damage. You will now live slightly longer. I think we lost and I'm upset. <laughs> oh, that kills, dude. All we needed was to draw helical crystals and that we missed out on it. The pain is real. But you know what? It was a fun run nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm going to assume you did if you watched all one hour, three minutes, and 14 seconds. Of course, I'm going to ask you to click the like button. If you enjoyed the episode, please do click the like button. It's the single best way to help me out as a content creator. And of course, I encourage you to not look at the screen over here to see how bad I am. <laughs> Um, but yeah, click the like button if you enjoyed the episode. It helps me out an enormous deal. And of course, uh, subscribe if you want to see more Monster Train in the future. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!